Good morning, guys um, and gals. <laughs> um, so thanks, first of all, for um, clicking the play button and um, just joining me for a little bit of encouragement and just a little bit of Jesus talk. Um, I'll try not to keep you long, and I will try not to say, um, a lot either, uh, working on those things, but <clears throat> anyway, so, um, real quick, um, a big thank you to, um, my family, um, that watches this channel and, um, is praying for me and as far as my health goes. Today starts seven weeks of treatment. Um, I am starting to have better, more better days than I am bad ones. And I have just started, um, uh, staying awake more than asleep. So those are some good things. And I have hope that is the best thing. Okay. So, uh, that's a little update on the, uh, the liver treatments. I think we've got about three or four to go, but I know, um, I know I'm ready. I'm ready to have it done and him, the doctors say it's done and healed and, uh, yeah. And let's see what, uh, God has, you know, in store for the next season. But, um, so I've got to, I, I, this is, this is just hilarious to how God works. Okay. So I've not been able to post for a couple weeks and, um, you know, some days I, mo some days I have two or three doctor's appointments and I, other days I may just be on the couch sick all day. Um, I'm not trying to give an excuse for not doing a, doing a, Chant a thing every day, but it's not it's not every this channel wasn't made for it an every day thing um, But however so I was doing my studying this morning and reading read my devotion Three or four times actually I just couldn't seem to to get it I don't know if you ever get that or not and I thought maybe I'm not awake enough So I went back and read it again so then, um, I have, I go back and forth and I'll read this little, uh, I have a little Charles Stanley, um, in touch that I'll, I'll read sometimes as well too. Well, I read it and I read some in the Bible and, and I always read a Psalm or a proverb a day and I go by that date. Okay. So I'm just going back and forth and I, and I, and I did a video and I ad lib. I don't like write out a script or anything for these, you know, I, I pray and I trust that, you know, God will, uh, lead me wh where I, it, I need my words need to go. If he can talk through a donkey, he can talk through me. I promise. Um, but anyway, so, um, the normal devotion that I normally read out of and then we'll go to the Bible, you know, and just kind of hit on it a little bit and, you know, see how it personally affects us. I just, I don't know why. I just thought, no, nah, it's just, you know, well, um, so I, I had started to do a video on just, um, burdens and things like that. And it just really, I, I said, Lord, this just ain't me. This, or this just isn't you. This is, it just didn't, nothing about it. I had phone calls going off during the whole thing, so I just deleted it and shut it down and said, what, you know, I'm gonna, I just need to go pray. And so I prayed, and, uh, you know, I thought, you know, I'm gonna read my Psalms. I've not read Psalms today, and it really encourages me. Psalms, you know, and, um, anyway, so I thought, well, you know, what's today's date? Okay, it's the 23rd, so Psalms 23, and I thought, oh, well, that's great, you know, I know that one, everyone knows that one, right? Psalms 23, the, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So, um, I sat down, or as I'm sitting here reading it, I look over, and the little devotional, 
the grace for today that we always, that's the one we always read out of from April the 23rd. Um, it's called, May You Be Equipped. May the God of peace, the great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him. And that's Hebrews 13, 20 through 21. You see, the Bible often refers to the children of God as sheep that are totally dependent upon the shepherd for food, for protection, for everything. Although we live in a society where individual performance is so highly regarded, we should never think, ever, that we can do anything, that we can be everything or do anything that Christ expects from us in our own strength. Ever. We can't. We can't even breathe without Christ. We have been brought into a covenant with our Lord and with one another through the sacrificial blood of Christ. Pray that God will equip you as well as the believers in your community and your local congregation to join forces in doing God's work. To join. Lord Jesus, our Good Shepherd, Equip your children so that they will want to do your work together. Amen. So, I'll go back to the devotion in just a second. I promise we won't take up too much time. So, I'm reading my Psalms 23, and what's it about? It's about the shepherd, shepherded in his people. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And I'm reading from the Amplified today. Sorry, guys. I, it's just really to helping me learn a lot. Um, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear, fear no evil. For you are with me. You're my rod, my staff, my in the and they you comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. So, we've got Psalms 23. Today's April the 23rd. And then we go over to April 23rd devotion, and I see the great shepherd of the sheep. He's equipping, the, in Hebrews, they, he's, they are praying for the great shepherd of the sheep to equip us with everything good for doing his will. Not our will. But his will, and that may our work be pleasing unto him. So I knew right away, okay, God, gotcha. <laughs> Confirmation and a little funny. But I underlined, as well as the believers in your community and local congregation, to join forces in doing God's work. And the reason being is because we got, we finally, after um, almost a year, uh, got to go to actual, an actual service at an actual church here. Because uh, we've, li we've lived here for a year now. And uh, then COVID hit and all of that. And my health um, had kept us. And um, we hadn't got to go to Helenwood Baptist Church. So... Anyway, long story short, we got to go, we got to go to church, and um, we got to praise and worship with other believers, and it was just so filling. My cup just ran over. Um, I had forgotten, guys, what it's like to just be around other believers 
and just feel the presence of the Holy Spirit just and, and just feel just let him love on you and it was almost like a homecoming it was like oh you know and I know God is everywhere he's in us and you know he's in others and um, but there's just something about being in the Lord's house and and just being around others and just you know lifting them up and and, and, and smiling even underneath the mask you know but um, anyway, so, um, you know, I really like the prayer at the end of the devotion. Lord Jesus, our good shepherd, please equip us, your children, so that we will want to do your work together. Together. So, um, guys, I, I, I just had to share that. Oh, thank you, Lord. That was, that was just a great, great little that was a great little confirmation for me for april the 23rd <laughs> thanks everybody that's been praying and um i ask you to continue to pray and um just you know share some encouragement you never know when someone's gonna need it you i mean that's all the time but just share some encouragement guys you don't have to feel great i promise you can feel yucky still say a kind word to someone uh god bless and thanks again for watching our channel and subscribing and um yeah just have a great weekend everybody god bless